What about on the coding front? How does GPT-5 perform there? Yeah, so, um, you know, the sources that we talked to for this piece told us that GPT-5 is a step up on a lot of different domains, whether that's, you know, the hard sciences, creative writing, um, general knowledge. But yeah, one area that really stood out to them was with with coding, which has been kind of the most uh, promising and money-making application of generative AI so far. So specifically, we were told that, you know, not only is GPT-5 better on more academic or competitive programming tasks, but it's also better on the more, you know, practical pro- programming tasks that a developer might might want to do it in, in everyday life. So working with, you know, very large and complex code bases that have lots of old legacy code in them, for instance. Um, and that has been something that, you know, OpenAI I don't want to say has struggled with it in the past, but, you know, an area of improvement for them. And one reason why Anthropic um, has been able to release models that are so much more popular with uh, software developers and these coding assistant startups like Cursor and Windsurf. Um, and so this is really interesting because if GPT-5 is going to be significantly better at these more practical, everyday programming tasks, um, that could prove to be bad news for An- Anthropic. Um, we might see, you know, startups like Cursor, for instance, move over to open AI models. And today they're spending, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars every year on these coding assistants. So that's a very large chunk of revenue that could easily, you know, switch from Anthropic to open AI and uh, would be a very significant loss for Anthropic and a big gain for open AI. One of the things that, that really, you know, stands out to me about about all these models that are coming out is, is you know, we at the information, you know, we we, as you've done, you know, we report about this latest and greatest model that is coming out and how it poses a threat to another company and their latest model. But the fact of the matter is then that company then comes out with their own model. And it's, you know, it's kind of like the story changes every two months. Um, I mean, and I, I guess this is just, this is the latest one that we have. I mean, it's, who knows what Anthropic comes out with, you know, four months from now. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's been the very complicated thing about this market is that it seems like Every couple months, one company comes out with a model that leapfrogs the other. And so I think that's been one reason why people have very strong opinions on whether investing in, in this space is a good idea or not. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of questions around what the actual moat is if, you know, in two months, the other big model developer will release a model that's better than than yours. 